there, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever, where you're watching from. Nightwish Army, awesome to have you again for a second video. There were a couple of things I, uh, that got to my attention when I was uh, doing the first reaction, Ghost Love Score, which I totally love, by the way. I noticed a lot of you were like, yo, Dutch, this is the wrong version. <laughs> you should have taken the Wacken 2013 version. And I was like, ooh, okay, is that even better then? And you all said, yes, it is better. So I'm very looking forward to watch that one as well. I think I'm going... Um, so I've listened to that song last week and I'm going to take some time before I'm going to revisit that song. So it kind of... Stays fresh, if that makes sense. So I already know the song then, but then I'm going to react to the Wacken version as well. And I've noticed a lot of you were uh, very critical, and that is always good. A critical fan base is uh, is very good about that. I shouldn't talk when she's singing, and I totally feel that. I mean, for real, I totally feel that. <laughs> but it's also very hard because it's just I when I want to say something, I try to pause the video, but um, in my enthusiasm, I often forget to pause the video. And since I don't know the song, it's hard for me to know when she will go like that crazy high note or whatever, you know. So uh, forgive me if it happens. I don't do it intentionally. And I totally vibe with you all uh, who are saying that because that's something I don't like myself as well. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to watch story time. So I was um, looking through Gabriel's list. Uh, thank you for that, by the way, Gabriel. That is so kind of you to uh, pop out an entire list of and a time timeline as well. Like you have to watch story time first and then you have this whole list of songs I have to check out. It will 100% make things easier for me um, as far as my journey into Nightwish. Also, I want to be very fair with you all. So uh, there are a couple of songs like Nemo, Phantom of the Opera, that I already know. And I, it, won't, it, w it doesn't feel fair if I record a react to it since I really know those songs. So I'm probably going to skip those. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm going to skip the rest, because there is a lot of Nightwish I don't know, and I want you all to uh, be part of this, of this journey, diving into Nightwish. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dive right into this. If you like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, follow me on the journey for Nightwish and lots of other awesome music and bands. It's uh, really, really worth it. There are a lot of good stuff there. Also, thumbs up, react in the comments, recommend stuff, and um, here we go, story time. And this time, live at Wacken 2013. Let's go, friends. Nightwish. I think it's time for a little story. Yes. It's definitely story time. Oh yeah, fire. This is keyboards that remind me of uh, the tone uh, Children of Bottom used uh, a lot. I dig that. It gives me a lot of that, that speed power metal vibe. So, uh, uh, probably isn't the case, but we're going to listen to it. I feel that tension coming. Oh! Nice bass! Good groove, four on the floor always works. You wanna bang your head, you wanna move already, you know? Oh, I'm jealous of that worldwide, I wish. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, powerful entrance. Okay, I think this is the first verse. That that's, that is, we're going to dive into the in, into the chorus right now. So far, so good. We got that really driving backbone. The drums, the bass are knocking it out of the park. It's very tight. Four on the floor just wants you to move. You know, it works. It all works. 
um, we're gonna continue. I feel a chorus incoming. I expect like melodic uh, vocals, uh, nice chords going on. So uh, let's let's dive right into this. Oh, nice keys, by the way. Horns. Oh, nice. Oh. Wow, yeah, that is a chorus I expect. That is a melodic, nice, powerful vocals again. We're not, we're not used to anything different. Um, I also expect during this song where we go a bit higher vocally and um, more um, calming down in a sense, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to have a full package in this one. Well, let's continue, let's continue. Oh, oh, funny trick. Really like those horns. Double layered. Second chorus. Powerful one. Hey, second chorus. Nice turnaround there. Oh yeah, middle eight. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how she just hasn't sung a note out of tune? Uh, same goes for the band, by the way. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that they are all, all nailing it? <laughs> oh, we have a late, little middle part here. Um, great, great timing. Like we have first one, chorus one, verse two, for, uh, chorus two. Time to get relaxed, right? Um, get into that nice, chilling vibe. Get some dynamic going in the song. Uh, I feel that coming here. Nice. I expect a great middle eight because I was very surprised by the last middle eight. So here we go. Gonna continue into that little break there. <laughs> Nice choir. Children's choir. Oh. Nice Tom riff here. Look at this keyboard. What is that? Okay, before we're going to continue, because this is just awesome. I love the little rhythmical uh, thing they're doing here. Uh, she sings Innocence, something like that. So we have like... Um, -na -na, -na -na, -na -na -na, something like that. And then the second one goes right after that. -na 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 -na. Innocence, right, is the word. I think I'm correct with that. I like that little rhythmical thing there they got going there it is um it adds because i expect it to be on that count as well and then i am being caught off guard because it is being pulled up front and i dig that nice little 
rhythmical touch there. So we're gonna we're gonna enter the last chorus here, I believe. Yes, I flip it. <laughs> yes, that is amazing. <laughs> Oh, I love during that last chorus how that guitarist was looking, having the time of his life. I mean, you see how much fun they have together. It's just so cool to watch. And it makes it more fun to watch as well. If you notice the band is having fun, then you're automatically having fun yourself as well, you know? And that is the case here. And there's this thing um, with festivals you've you got going on. I've been to a couple of festivals. What, never been to Wacom, by the way, so that is still on my to-do list. But you have that morning vibe or that afternoon vibe when the band start and you're just like the sun comes out and it's, you know, waking up, you know, we got some music and it's chill. And then you get that moment when the sun goes down and you see the lights popping and the atmosphere changes and that is what 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 you see here as well the the fireworks really get an effect and the lighting really gets its effect and it's just so much fun to play as a band when it's getting darker i mean that is just there is a um, atmospherical change happening and that is always for the best for the playing band in this case nightwish i really enjoy this friends so, um, yeah, I hope you did as well. And if you like it, make sure to hit that follow button, subscribe to the channel, react in the comments below, and I will keep following Gabriel's list. I really appreciate you watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope to see you for our next video, all right? Have a great day. Much love. Take care. Cheers.